All right, the purpose of this video is to show you uh, my workaround in exporting two files panned to the left and to the right and eliminating a crackling sound that was bleeding through for whatever reason. Uh, it wasn't necessarily, I, I really actually don't know what the, the cause of this crackling is, but I did find a legit workaround that works really well. So uh, especially for worship leaders uh, that are trying to make uh, tracks that are panned left and right for purposes on main stage or uh, with our worship team. This is especially for them, but this worked for anybody who uses GarageBand. So here's what I was doing. I've got a uh, regular track, completely produced, uh, regular MP3 that I bought that's panned to the left, and to the right I have a click track, or, or actually just a guide track in this case. And so it's just my voice going intro, two, three, four. And you see all this dead space. There shouldn't be any sound there. But for whatever reason, uh, with the exported MP3, not in GarageBand, but only in the export, I am getting some kind of rhythmic, crackling, static kind of thing. And it's actually to the rhythm of this track, and it's showing up on the right side. So you see I'm panned to the left here. There should be nothing else coming through the right. But for whatever reason, I'm getting this popping business. And I have messed with this for a couple different days and I finally figured out um, a way to fix it. So I'm actually going to take the traditional panning and you see this. I'm going to change it back to C, back to the middle and do that on both sides. Now I'm going to uh, go into uh, the effects. So you got to be clicked up here on this knob, make sure you're on there, and then come down here to plugins. And if you don't see the plugins, you can tap that, uh, this little arrow here, you see that. Just tap that and bring it down. And add in imaging, this is imaging right there, and then direction mixer. This is glorious. So uh, just go up here to the factory default, click on that, and pan to the left. Uh, depending on which one you do, I guess I'm on the guide, so I want that on the right. So I'm going to do that one way. Let's see how that changes. And then I'm going to do the other one, same exact way. And there is one more step beyond this, so don't stop watching yet. Uh, pan to the left. Okay. And uh, that will automatically force everything into the left side. Um, and it does not leave static. I don't know why, what the difference is, but uh, it works that way. And the last step is you actually want to turn down this by six decibels, um, at least six. It, probably it could be five or something like that, but it seems to add about six decibels to the volume when you do it this way. And I'm not sure why that is either, but so this is the official fix. If you want to make something real simple with uh, music on the left and uh, whatever else on the right, just two tracks and you're noticing this crackling, use imaging and then lower both of them by six decibels. Then just do a regular export and you will notice that uh, everything sounds the way it should. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. Again, it uh, took me a couple different hours working on this to find that out. So hopefully it works. Let me know if it doesn't and maybe we can figure out a solution together.